welcome to Leaders of Tomorrow Season 10. It's been 10 seasons of empowering India's small businesses and hand-holding and guiding you in your growth journey. I'm Sunanda Jai Seelan. On the show tonight, I'm in conversation with someone who has appeared many times on the show before, talking about digital for India's small businesses. I'm in conversation with Ajit Mohan at Meta India. It's, of course, the parent company of Instagram. Today's very freewheeling conversation with him was about Instagram and how India's small businesses can and should be using the platform for growth and to ensure that their content is breaking out of the clutter and is being noticed and is visible. Listen. Ajit, after two, two and a half years of speaking to each other virtually on various platforms, it's so good to be able to do this interview face to face. And uh, thanks for coming down to Bangalore. Thanks for agreeing to do this interview with us. Great to be here, Sananda, uh, with you in person. So it's been a couple of months since we last spoke. And, you know, when you and I had last chatted, we had spoken about just the phenomenal growth that you've seen here in the country where small businesses uh, are able to use platforms like yours. Micro entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs are able to use platforms like yours and see growth. What have the past few months been? Because now some sort of semblance of normalcy seems to be really coming back after the pandemic. What have the past few months been like? I, I, I think, uh, obviously, I think we live in a global context where uh, there are headwinds. Um, globally, we are seeing supply chains that are disrupted, uh, inflation in many markets. But when I look at India, it is pretty clear that something fundamentally shifted in the last two years uh, with, with the big sampling of a more digital way of life. Yeah. And, and we're seeing that continue uh, even as uh, we, we emerge out of the pandemic. We have seen so many companies being seeded. We have seen so much innovation in the last two years. Um, and, and we are continuing to see that. We are continuing to see uh, enterprising entrepreneurs uh, use our platforms um, and, and trying to build out ideas uh, that are fundamentally changing the way we live. I, I think that story that is centered around uh, India and the big digital transformation that we have seen in the last few years mm -hmm and we continue to see now. I think that's, that continues. I don't think we have seen a slowdown on that. Mm. Uh, and it's interesting you're saying that, you know, the growth is really continuing. Um, looking forward into the next, let's say, two, three years, how excited are you about the Indian market, and particularly about India's SMEs, MSMEs, and entrepreneurs? And through this interview, what do you want to tell our viewers? I think very excited. Mm. I, I, I do think a um, uh, couple of things to call out here, uh, Sunanda. I think one, um, just the massive amount of digital transformation that we unleashed in the last two years and, and all of the innovation that we saw, I, I did think it gave confidence to entrepreneurs that there are great businesses to be built, that, that there are lots of interesting ideas to be explored. Um, and, and I feel comfortable that in a country where there are more than 800 million people who have access to the internet uh, and the number going up every day, uh, we have barely scratched the surface of uh, fully unleashing all the forces of, of that transformation that we have seen in the last few yeah. years in terms of people coming online, uh, discovering how to create content, how yeah. to consume content, how to shop online. Yeah. Um, increasingly, I think it will be about how to do more learning online, how to get access to healthcare services online. Uh, I think we, are, uh, we have barely scratched the surface of all of the dramatic opportunities and transformation that's going to be unleashed. Uh, so I'm optimistic, not just for the three years, but you know, for the next uh, couple of decades. Mm. Uh, the last couple of times that we've spoken, we've uh, 
discussed Facebook in depth and I want to in today's interview spend a little bit of time talking about Instagram and how businesses are working with Instagram businesses are advertising on Instagram and how they're growing through Instagram so first off just the big picture when it comes to Instagram for businesses you know people like myself for instance uh, I just hate the idea of going into a shop and shopping I'm finding it so convenient now and I think pretty much everything that I'm doing when it comes to shopping is being done on Instagram and you know platforms like that uh, how has Instagram really changed the way yeah. businesses are growing and are doing business in the country? Yeah, I, I think there are three things to call out here, uh, Sunanda. I think one of the things uh, I would be amiss in, in not calling it out, especially in the last two years, that is fuel this explosive uh, rise in popularity of Instagram in India. Yeah is the role that Instagram has played in the emergence of short form video. Mm. Uh, I, I think today... Reels, is Reels. Right? Um, today, whichever part of the country you go to, um, uh, you, you speak to younger folks, older folks, it's pretty clear that there is a huge movement around Reels, yeah. right? Uh, not just consuming Reels, but people feeling empowered to become creators themselves um, and finding that there is a world out there who wants to listen to their point of view. Um, so I, I, I think a lot of the story of the last two years has been about Reels on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I, I think in that context, I think it's important to call out that um, a, a bit different from Facebook, mm. uh, which was about uh, helping people stay connected to their friends and family, Instagram was always the place which made it easy for you to connect to your interests, mm -hmm. right? Things that you love, uh, and that includes companies and brands. Mm -hmm. um, and 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 I think what we have seen with the growth of Instagram in India, uh, and the particular role that it plays in 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 helping people feel connected and get connected to things that they're really passionate about, uh, we have obviously seen that businesses are using that power yeah. uh, and, and, and wielding that power uh, to introduce themselves to uh, tens of millions of people yeah. in India. Um, which brings up the third point. I, I think the reality is that um, across Facebook and Instagram, because largely it is a unified ad platform, um, there's no question that we have probably built uh, one of the most powerful discovery engines the world has ever seen. Yeah. Um, and, and that's that's true for Instagram, uh, that's true for Facebook, and I think what we are seeing, and, and especially for people who are listening, uh, who are watching this program, um, it, it allows them, whether they are thinking of an idea today, uh, whether they've already started up, or, or uh, they're a business that is looking for scale, there is enormous power in leveraging those platforms to take it to the world yeah. uh, because I, I think what we have really done between Facebook and Instagram is made it easy for people to discover brands and products that they are likely to love and what that means for a business owner is to be savvy about using these platforms to build followership uh, as well as to introduce themselves to the world a lot more. Uh, so if you can elaborate on that, you're saying you know, small business owners being able to use this platform and platforms uh, like Facebook and WhatsApp to help people discover their brands. If you can use the next 90 odd seconds as a masterclass of sorts to say, this is how small businesses should be using it because you know you can do brand advertising, you can, you, you can do organic content, uh, you can do you know, paid content. There's so many different ways yeah. in which you can be using a platform like Instagram. Uh, what are the do's and don'ts, if you can perhaps, you know, run us through that? Yeah, I, I, I think just to set the context, yeah. uh, um, you, you don't have to pay us any money yeah. uh, for you to uh, strategically leverage our platforms, right? Mm -hmm. That's true, whether it's Facebook or Instagram yeah. or, or, or WhatsApp. Um, so the first step, you know, in the case of Facebook and Instagram is, is just to um, be present and, 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 and start communicating what they stand for, mm -hmm. right? And, and that means leveraging uh, these platforms, whether that's producing reels or, or posts, uh, creating pages. Um, what we have found is that a lot of small businesses are able to get organic traction mm -hmm. without spending any money on ads at all. Okay. 
right? And 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 sometimes you can, you know, if you have an idea or or a, or a product that has traction, mm -hmm. you do see that uh, you see it go viral in a very short period of time without any ads. You know, I'm in Bangalore here. Uh, a lot of the conversation over the next couple of days are with creators yeah. uh, who have managed to build massive followership mm. uh, on Instagram, increasingly on Facebook, because Reels uh, is now on Facebook as well. Yeah. Um, and, and we are finding that some of the savvy companies are finding ways to leverage these creators and their followers mm. to introduce themselves to the world. Mm. So that's, that's definitely uh, an opportunity for many businesses to really think through um, how do they build organic traction? How do they use ads? But how do they also uh, leverage creators who already have followership? Uh, uh, of course, I, I think it works when there is an authentic connect between these creators and the brands. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what, what we have found out is that the creators who do well, um, uh, they are quite particular about authentic exp expression. Mm -hmm. I think there's a big shift from the old world of celebrity endorsements, yeah. right? I, I yeah. think uh, what is new is um, uh, the most successful creators won't just endorse any brand. Mm. Uh, writing a check uh, doesn't necessarily get you their endorsement. They really care about do they, do they feel aligned with that product or a service, that category? Do they feel aligned with the values of the brand? Mm. But when they come together, uh, I think there's a powerful proposition that can help uh, small businesses grow. I'm going to take a quick break. On that note, we're back in just a moment. Welcome back here with us here on Leaders of Tomorrow. Our icon tonight is none other than Ajit Mohan of Meta. Then I want to talk about digital inclusion. Platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp have done that beautifully. But do you think Instagram, for instance, has enabled, let's say, the businessmen who are sitting in Ujjain to be able to use it as effectively? Do they understand? you know, the power of Instagram for businesses as much as someone who's based in, say, a Bombay or a Bangalore? Um, I, I, I hope so, but okay. I, I think we, we, we still have a lot of hard work to do. Hmm. And, and I, I think it's important to kind of clarify two things, hmm. uh, Sunanda. One, um, for, for someone using our platform for ads, hmm. we have tried making it easy hmm. Um, and, and, and in some ways it's agnostic to whether the ad shows up on Facebook or Instagram. Mm. Uh, the, the small, the business owner uh, uh, in, you know, in Bhopal doesn't need to worry about is my ad going to show up on Facebook or Instagram. Okay. I think the, the, the engine makes it easy to optimize okay. that. Um, another thing that we have been quite proud of is the most frugal uh, advertising money invariably comes to us okay. because you can start with a very small amount, right? And you can see what works before you start spending more money. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think we are particularly relevant for the small business owner. Um, they, they, they're not required to write a check mm -hmm. to understand the power of the platform and to start the growth journey. You know, the small business owner is probably seeing her kid use Instagram Reels. Yeah. Um, I think that's where you know the conversation starts, right? They realize the power that this is now a platform that reaches all of India. But I do think because the growth has happened in such a short period of time, yeah. I think there's still a bit of effort that we need to make to help businesses understand the power of uh, uh, Instagram in a way that I think they intuitively understand about Facebook mm -hmm. because it's been, you know, it's been large for a longer period of time. Mm. So Instagram started as a, a, a platform for young people, I feel old just saying young people, but young people with less inhibition, you know, you wanted to make these funny reels and videos, and has now become a platform that's being used that's for education, you know, governments, anyone wants to put out any information. Did you foresee that it could be used 
uh, you know, this sort of a change would happen? And where is it headed? What next? You know, where would you like to see it? What sort of areas, verticals, industries perhaps, or use cases would you like for Instagram? I think that was the bet, uh, Sunanda. I think uh, going back to uh, 2020 when we introduced Reels on Instagram, mm. uh, we, we had a theory that in a country like India, with its you know, open democratic ethos, a very young population that is willing to express itself freely, that we had a particular role to play and yeah. that Instagram broadly and Reels on Instagram could fuel that. Yeah. Um, and and, and our, our bet was that um, it, would, it would trigger uh, the emergence of a new class of creators, mm. um, not necessarily from the large cities, not necessarily people who are established mm. celebrities. Um, and I think that's what's happened and continues to happen. I think uh, some of the people with uh, the biggest followers are people um, uh, who showed up in the last two years. Mm. Uh, they didn't have a legacy that predated Reels on Instagram. Um, and I think, I think it's consistent with what's happening in India. I think what we have seen when you look at content creation and expression, uh, and I think Instagram has both fueled it and benefited from it, is we are seeing that these creators are showing up from around the country, right? Um, I think we have just scratched the surface of a trend. We have started seeing what it means. Um, it, it truly means you're going to have people emerge from uh, smaller towns mm. uh, and, and, and become global stars. And one of, the, one of the ambitions that we had when we launched Reels in 2020 was that we will have a big global celebrity come from India okay. uh, who, uh, who had no legacy. Sure. Uh, who, who had no legacy and sh you know showed, showed up from a small town and made it big. I think we are well on uh, well on our way to getting there. Okay, what are some of the Instagram accounts that you follow, Ajit? Can I put you on the spot? In yeah, I, um, <laughs> you can. I think I, I think you know one of the ones that and I, I'm not I may not get the handle right, but uh, to your point about its young creators, there's one called Village Cooking. Okay, um, which is a. I think she's a relatively older lady in Kerala mm. uh, who, who cooks on one of those, you know. I think I've seen uh, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it. And, okay. and Do you I cook? think she's a, I try, okay. uh, I try. Um, I, I think, you know, she, she's building up a massive following. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, she was recommended to me by a friend who lives in Australia. Mm. And, and I think it, it gives you a sense of what's happening. I think we are breaking away traditional boundaries in terms of, I, you know, people discovering things that were uh, earlier, there were a lot more silos around it. Mm. Um, but that's, that's an example which I think breaks many of the stereotypes associated with who a creator is. Sure. Uh, as someone who has young kids, as a parent who has young kids, does the question of privacy and, you know, privacy on platforms like Instagram ever pop up? And Because anytime anyone talks about Facebook, that's pretty much one of the first questions that comes in. Do you get asked these questions about Instagram and how do you handle it? It's clear to us that whenever we build products, mm -hmm. whether that's new products or, or, or things that we are building on Facebook or Instagram or WhatsApp or even uh, all of our uh, investments into b helping build the metaverse, um, I think privacy is at the center of it. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and we take it seriously, I, I think. And, and one of the reasons why we have been so vocal about um, the, the metaverse and what we are uh, uh, hoping to build is to make sure that we are having the conversation early okay. so that uh, everyone, uh, stakeholders, governments, people uh, can have that active conversation mm -hmm. about what the next version of the internet should look like. Sure. I think if there is one learning from the last 25 years is that change happens so quickly and, and while it uh, unleashed uh, 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 an explosive ton of goodness in terms of positive impact on people's lives and, mm. you know, uh, and, and the value it added to companies and businesses, uh, it also came with a harm, right? I think we saw a lot of harm that yeah. was created by bad actors. And, and, and we are having that active conversation so that we can design not just privacy, but uh, fundamentally how do we solve for, uh, solve in advance of these platforms hitting scale, mm. uh, uh, harms that we see emerging, that we can think through uh, actively and, and plan for it a lot better uh, than we did for the last version of the internet. Okay, so Ajit, the last question then, um, 
when you wake up in the morning, what's the first app you look at? Are you scrolling through Facebook? Are you chatting on WhatsApp? Are you going through Reels? It's still WhatsApp. It's still WhatsApp. Okay. I think, um, um, and, and because, you know, both in the context of work and having family around the world, I think you're definitely curious about, um, you know, was anyone pinging you with anything interesting in the last eight hours? Okay, and if you were to create a reel that's going to go viral, do you have any ideas for what that might be? I am <laughs> hoping to get ideas from the creator uh, <laughs> session in Bangalore. Uh, I think with all of the fabulous creators that uh, we are spending time with, I hope I crack in a big idea. Sunanda. All the very best and thank you so much. It's been a great conversation with you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Out of time in tonight's interview. If you have any feedback for us, do let us know. Our contact details are on your screens as we speak. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.